This is Twit. I, I definitely want to uh, talk about your book, but I want to first, before we talk about that, um, io9, that was uh, previously a Gawker website, uh, right. sci-fi and science. Yeah. Um, and were you one of the founders or were you the first hire? Or I guess I was the first hire. Okay. Like basically, Annalie was hired to start this site. Annalie Newitz. Annalie Newitz was, mm -hmm. sorry, Annalie Newitz was hired to start this site and she brought me on really early. She and I had already collaborated before on some other projects, including an anthology called called She's Such a Geek that was like first person stories of like women in science, technology and 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 geeky culture and stuff. Is that still available? In print? Uh, I think it is still in print. I still get royalty checks. Oh, good. <laughs> like every now and then, like a check shows up and I'm, I always think about how they weren't sure if anybody was going to buy this book. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I guess see, that worked out OK. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's and I still run into the people who were in the book and like it was a really amazing group of people. What year was that? That was 2007, I think. Yeah, where there were only five women geeks at that time in the world. I mean, that was the thing. <laughs> we did this anthology, She's Such a Geek, and the publisher who had asked both of us separately if we wanted to do a project, it was this feminist press called Seal Press, and they were like, okay, you know, can you suggest other books that are similar to this one that so that we know that there's a market? And we looked, and there was basically nothing at the time. Like no, there was no no books, no no documentaries, no no media of any type about female geeks in like 2006, 2007, wow. and so we came back to the publisher and we like we we can't show you any other stuff, but that just proves that there's a huge need for this mm -hmm. book. And they were like, well, the publishing mindset is always like, if somebody hasn't already done it, then obviously there's no market for right. it. Right, and that's crazy. <laughs> and so we finally convinced them to do it, and we put out an open call for submissions, and we were just inundated. We got hundreds of essays from women about, you know, being in science and being in tech and being gamers, being comics geeks. And, um, you know, it was it was just amazing to read like a few hundred first person stories of women's geeky experiences and their passions. And it was just it was amazing. Do you ever think about writing a follow up to that? I don't know. I mean, I it would be cool to do that yeah. like 10 years later or 12 years later. Right. To do the next generation or to even follow up on those women. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that would be really interesting. Um, I don't know. We should we should definitely think about that. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, so she hired me to work on io9 and, um, you know, I actually had to try out. There were a few other people who tried out. We had like a blog that was password protected, which only like three people could read. And so we were all kind of, it was called blogging in the dark. <laughs> and so a few of us were blogging in the dark and luckily I was able to win over the other, you know, folks at Gawker. And, uh, you know, so I was, I was on board before the blog launched. Um, and by the time we did launch, I think we had hired one other person. And so it, it is still exists. Um, it, you're not there anymore. Yeah. Annalie is still working there or she's just at no, Ars Technica? No, she actually, she left io9 before I did. Oh, okay. Um, she became editor of Gizmodo for a little while and then she okay. moved on and, uh, she's now, she, I don't, she's not really at Ars Technica oh. either anymore. Okay. Um, but we're talking about you. Yeah, yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, so it was science and sci-fi mixed right. in. And so were you more interested in the sci-fi or the science or both? I mean, I love the science. My background was definitely the sci-fi end of it. And, uh, you know, I was kind of hired to cover, you know, movies, TV, books, comics um, as like a, as a sci science fiction geek or whatever. And Anna Lee was the one who really kind of, I think their idea was originally that it was just going to be science fiction. Mm -hmm. And Anna Lee was like, no, it has to have science as well. It has to have half science coverage and half science fiction coverage because that's how you really get this kind of interesting conversation going between what's happening in science fiction and what's happening in the real world of science. And that's how you really get to see how the real world is getting becoming more science fictional mm -hmm. while science fiction is also becoming more relevant. And so it, it was just a really like having that mix in there was just amazing. And, you know, getting to, getting to read so many science articles, getting to edit so many science articles was like a huge, like, you know, boon to me as a science fiction writer. Like I learned so much during that time and just having both on the page all the time was just like so exciting.